Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Todoist series. And today we are going to look at how to separate out your personal from your professional tasks. Now this is not something I personally do or even recommend because we live one life and our professional and personal life is part of that one life. When you start separating them, you are putting yourself at risk of important things getting missed. However, for some people, they really, really hate their job and just don't want to be reminded of that part of their life on a weekend or in the evening, and they really do want to separate them out. Now, you can do this but in Todoist using a combination of labels and filters, and it's really quite simple. Now, before we go any further, I would just like to say, if you do get any value from this video, then please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks, and news on using Todoist, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go into my demo account now, and I'll show you how to get this set up. Okay, so here we have a typical Saturday list of tasks to do. Now I've got nine tasks, so it's clearly not an overwhelming day, I would hope. And there's quite a few personal tasks, in fact, more personal tasks than work tasks. Obviously, if this was a Monday or a weekday, it's probably going to have more work tasks than personal tasks. But really, that's not something that you need to worry about. Now, the first thing I'm going to suggest you do is to take you take advantage of Todoist multiple select tasks. Now to do that, all you need to do on a Mac is, if you're using the desktop version, is Command and click. If you're using a Windows, is Control and click. And just go down and look for your, well, in this case, I'm gonna start with the work task. So we're just gonna go click as uh, and write up coaching feedback. Now I consider clearing my action this day folder, which is my uh, email, as a, work task. So I'm just going to go to up on here. Now what you'll see is that you get this additional menu on the top line. I'm going to click on labels. Now I don't have a work label, so I'm just going to type in work. It's going to ask me if I want to create that. I'm going to create it and that's all you have to do. So now I have my work tasks in there. So we're going to repeat the same process, but we're going to make personal. So call parents, to do his inbox, vacuum the office, water my bonsai tree and water the palm plant. Again, I'm going to go to my labels and I'm just going to type in personal. So this task is not, oh dear, spelling again. Um, this task is not uh, created yet. So I'm just going to create that and that's done. So now I have all these labels and I can check out of that and now my labels are added. Now, you can go in and refine your labels a little bit. So what we're going to do is go into here, and you'll see that I have these tasks here. Now, if you don't like the order of this, and I'll show you that in a moment, but what we want to do is we're going to make work a different color. So I'm going to go up to here, and if you put your mouse on the top, you can move along. And by the way, this is always a way to do it on the web. You don't just have to use the app. I'm going to make this, and um, let's have a look. Where are we? Uh, I'm going to make this orange because my work color on my calendar is orange. So I'm going to make that orange. And my personal, I'm going to make blue because on my, uh, again, in my on my calendar, blue is my personal task. So that's it. So personal events, I should say. Let's just close down the filters for a moment so we don't get distracted. So now I have the two labels. Now, if you're using labels, I strongly recommend that you actually keep it down to as the minimum a number because it does get a little bit overwhelming if you start creating way too many labels. So let's go back into my today. So now you'll see that I've got these all set up in different ways. Now, one of the great things about Todoist is we have we can actually customize the view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my view up here on the top right and I'm going to leave it as a list. Well, you could actually do it as a uh, a, a a board if you wish. My brain went dead then. But the key for me is I'm going to group this. I'm going to group this together by label. And that's really all I need to do. So what I've got now is my today is set as a custom view with by label. So my work tasks are now up at the top and my personal tasks are down at the bottom.
By the way, if you don't like that, you can go back into your filters and labels and you can now actually move these around. So if I move personal to the top and work underneath, I can go back to my today and now my personal is at the top and my work is at the bottom. It's a great way of organizing it. But let's go back to filters I, because when I start my day, it's more likely to be work. So I'm just going to put work there and my, my setup is all done. Great, so that's what we've got set up. So when I go back into my today view, I have all these tasks set up. However, there is something else we can do because this means that you see both work and personal together, although they are now separated. There is something else we can do. We can go back into filters and labels and we can create a filter. Now to create a filter, all we have to do is go to the plus at the side here and hit tap. I'm gonna to put today's work. I'm going to capitalize that because you'll see in a moment. The filter query for this is, I'm going to put this in brackets and it's going to be today and, oh no, not and, sorry, today. Uh, this means or overdue and then close the bracket and, and then I'm going to add label and I'm going to put work. Okay, and I'm going to change the color. Again, I'm going to make that color orange because that's my work and I'm going to add that that in. So now you can see that anything that's dated today, Saturday, is my is now showing for my work tasks. But that isn't all you need to worry about. What you can now do is go back into your filters and labels and you can now hit this, the favorite button and that will now be added here. So let's go back into filters and labels and we're going to create a new filter and we're going to put today's personal or you can call it home it's entirely up to you um, and my filter query is going to be the same except for so I'm going to put today and oh sorry not and I can oh, I always like and and overdue so it's not it's today or overdue or overdue is important close the bracket and then and and at and we've done work so we're going to put personal and we're going to make that blue. So I'm going to make that blue and then add the task, uh, add the filter. So today is Saturday, so you can see all my personal is here. Again, I'll go back to filters and labels and I'm going to make sure that that is set as a favorite. Now, again, what we've got is this situation where work is below and personal is at top. Now, for most of the week, it's probably that you're going to start with work and then personal. So again, go in there and just move them around so that work is at the top and you can see your favorites have changed. So now we've got today's work and today's personal. So when we come to the day, here we've got a separated out section here. I shouldn't say section because that will get confusing. So we've got our work and our personal tasks all separated nicely. Uh, and that gives you the overview of the day. That's gonna give you everything that you have scheduled to be done today. However, what you're wanting to do, and this is one of the things, reasons why I absolutely love to do is, is to start using your favorites as your, as your workflow. So when you start the day, this is where you go. You start right here and you can see today's work tasks. So as you go through the day, you can be checking those off and this is going to be great. So you get all those cleared off. And at the end of the day, that's it. You've done your work at the end of your work day. Now you'll see that I could actually, I have a choice. I can go to today and I can just see my personal tasks when I get home or whatever I want to do. Or I can just follow through the workflow. And there we go. We have our tasks, our personal tasks for today. So this is a great way of being able to separate your work from your personal life. Now, for me, as I said at the introduction, it's not something that I necessarily need to do because I, I work from home and I actually do quite a few of my personal tasks in the afternoon. I do a lot of my work tasks in the morning and the evening. I kind of separate my day into three sections. But you might be working a traditional working week whereby morning you're at work, and the evening you're at home and you just want to be able to separate these out. Well, that's the way to do it. I hope you found this useful. I hope you found it uh, something that you may want to add to your Todoist. Thank you so much for watching this episode. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. 
Recently, I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use, easy to maintain, so that you can spend more of your time doing the work. And that's what the time sector system is all about. It's going to change your whole belief system about way, the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when, when you are going to do the task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired or how urgent something is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. And that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.